Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title below, we are going to talk about Goelia. I was immediately drawn to the styling of their clothes. They're simple yet sophisticated, very feminine, and they have a bit of a Parisian flair. But before buying anything, I wanted to do a little bit more research on the brand and found that there were a lot of helpful videos on YouTube. But one of the areas that I still felt was lacking in terms of information was in sizing. Goelia does not have the friendliest return policy. If you need to return or exchange an item, they will not send you a return shipping label, which means return shipping payment is entirely on you. So for the second half of this video, I'm going to go through some of the tips and tricks that I use to help ensure that these pieces would in fact fit me. But for the first part of this video, we're going to talk about some of these items. I will give you my first impressions. I will model them for you and then we'll jump in to the measurement tips and tricks. So here we have the first item. This is a sleeveless top. It is a navy and white stripe. Very nice silky material. It has a slight ribbed effect to it, but it's not a tight ribbed material. It is stretchy and also very breathable. This is in a size small, and if I did not previously mention it, I am five foot seven. I will put all my measurements below in the description as well as the size of the items that I purchased. The other thing I like about it too, I find with a lot of tops like this, the arm opening is too big and it exposes my bra. This does not happen with this top. It's comfortable because it, it does have some stretch to it. It doesn't dig into the armpit. On the inside, it does provide washing instructions. This is machine washable, but it says machine wash cold, mild process, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, cool iron, do not dry clean. I think this will be an excellent summer staple. So I do recommend this beautiful sleeveless top. So here we have the next item. This is a striped cardigan. Unlike the other stripe, which was a navy blue stripe, this is a black stripe. And I would say this color is more of like a cream color. You can see next to here, this is more of a bright white. So I would say this is a little bit more of a cream color, but very beautiful color combination. You can see this beautiful, gold button detailing here. Very soft material. The thickness, it's a moderate thickness. You know, this is a sweater that I think might actually be too warm in the summer, but we are headed into the spring and I think it will be perfect for spring and then maybe even fall. There's not a tremendous amount of stretch. It's a tighter knit, so if you purchase this, just be aware you're not going to get a lot of stretch out of this sweater. Washing instructions also here, it does say you can machine wash cold, mild process, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, cool iron, do not dry clean. So just another beautiful, simple piece. I think you could dress this up with a pair of black trousers. You could also wear it, I think, with a pair of blue jeans. And I think you could throw on your, if you have a red bag, I think that would look so nice with a pop of color. So just an absolutely, Beautiful sweater. So for this next item, this is a leather belt in the color red. This is a one size fits all. It has sort of this slip knot tightening and loosening mechanism here. So you can adjust the sizing. The hardware is gold plated hardware. Piece here, slip it in and you turn it, it closes into place. Now, there's no locking mechanism, which kind of surprised me, 
but I have worn this and it has not come undone, so it works. But if you are looking for a belt with this sort of slip knot tightening mechanism with gold hardware, and of course this color red is beautiful, I believe they do have other colors available as well, but this may be one to try. So last but not least is this scarf. They said that this is a cashmere scarf. I do have cashmere sweaters, and when comparing the softness of those sweaters to this, I would say that I do believe that this is cashmere. It is very soft. The pattern, of course, puts me in mind of the Burberry scarf. It is a nice size scarf, whether it be just to throw around your shoulders or I tend to wear my scarves right around my neck. So I fold them like this, put them around the neck, put these two ends through the loop here and wear it like that. But this does feel very nice and I did wear this around a little bit to kind of test whether or not this is itchy. But with this, I was able to wear it without that feeling of irritation. So if you are someone who has sensitive skin like me, this should actually work for you and not cause any irritation. So now on to part two of the video, which is measuring tips and tricks. So you're gonna wanna have a measuring tape like this. This has both inches as well as centimeters. So the first thing I did when I was trying to decide on the size of the cardigan is I found a more form-fitting jacket that was slightly cropped and I measured this jacket and compared it to the size chart that corresponds with the cardigan. So according to the size chart, a size small or US 4, the front length is 48 centimeters long. So I'm gonna measure below the fringe. So this is about 51 centimeters in length which means that we're about three centimeters shorter than the jacket. The shoulder width on a size small is 36 centimeters. I measure from this point here to this side here where you have the seams meet. It is about 37 centimeters from shoulder to shoulder, which means it's about one centimeter longer than the small cardigan. The sleeve length on the size small cardigan is 59 and a half centimeters long. This is about 57 centimeters. According to the size chart for a size small, the bust is 96 centimeters across. So for the bust, you're going to take your measurement and you're going to multiply it by two. I'd say this is about 45 centimeters across. Multiplied by two is 90 centimeters. Now we're gonna measure the garment itself and see how accurate it is when comparing it to the size chart. So again, the size chart, front length, it says for a size small, it's 48 centimeters. If I measure at the bottom of the trim piece, that measures about 47 centimeters. They do tell you that the measurement may be off one to two centimeters, so keep that in mind. And you can see when I compare it to the jacket that it is slightly more cropped, which is what I had anticipated. Shoulder width, it says this should be 36 centimeters. I'd say closer to 35, so I'd say it's about a centimeter off in the shoulder. Now for the sleeve, it says for the small, the sleeve length should be 59 and a half centimeters. It's pretty close. I mean, I'm measuring 59, so it may be a half a centimeter off. The chest or the bust, the size chart says the bust on a size small should be 96 centimeters. Again, remember you take your measurement and you multiply it by two. I'd say 48. 48 times 2 is 96. So this measurement is in fact accurate. Next, let's look at the shirt. 
So for a small, the length should be 53 centimeters. So let's measure this one first and see where it puts us. I have about 52 centimeters, so it says it should be 53, so it's off by about one centimeter. This is about 52 centimeters, so this is a shirt that I use to measure. This shirt fits me well. It's good in the length. So really, these are the same. So we have 52 centimeters here, 52 centimeters here. The shoulder width, 29 centimeters. That's correct. And this is actually close enough. The bust is 70. I'd say we've got 34, which is 68 centimeters, and you multiply it by two. And this is a little bit wider, but this is 68. The size chart says 70. So it's off by about two centimeters from the size chart. So I think what hopefully this has shown is it is worth taking the time to pick out items that are similar to those that you are looking at on the Goelia website, measuring those garments, comparing it to the size chart, but being aware that they are in some instances, maybe not in all, but at least in this case, some of the measurements were one to two centimeters off but I think this at least gives you a ballpark of where you are and then ultimately you'll have to make that decision as to whether or not you're willing to take you know that risk in some of these measurements being slightly off but in I hope this video was helpful and although I only had a small sampling of items to go through today I can say that overall I am impressed with the quality and I also like the styling of the clothes that Goelia produces. I should also mention that if you purchase above a certain amount, they will give you a free gift. And in this case, it was this adorable canvas bag. Two handles here. This will definitely be accompanying me when I go to the farmer's market this spring and summer. If you like these videos and you find them helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for being here. Happy shopping. Bye for now.